Okay, today is uh, December the 20th, 2017, and uh, we've been taking a few days off the last uh, five days uh, during the holiday Christmas season right here, so uh, <clears throat> trying to get a video in uh, when we can. Okay, so right now at uh, 4.15 p.m., we have a temperature of 54 degrees in the foothills. Uh, we have a relative humidity of 65%. Uh, the dew point is 42 degrees and the barometer is at 30.00 inches and uh, right now we're looking at the uh, western u.s water vapor loop uh, the past few days we've had a lot of chemtrail spraying in the skies uh, today around noontime we started to see uh, natural clouds developing in the skies without a lot of chemtrail uh, haze being sprayed over and as this frontal system moved through it brought a lot of the weather from the uh, off the west coast moving in, we saw a lot of cumulonimbus development, which uh, was being targeted. We saw those uh, thunderheads being uh, targeted and collapsing. And uh, here about three hours ago, the weather.com app, pardon me, the weather.com app uh, canceled the uh, rain forecast for today. So, uh, so far there's been no rain. It's uh, overcast right now here in the uh, foothills of Los Angeles. And uh, here on this western uh, U.S. water vapor loop, we see a, a right angle uh, developing on this gale force weather system. This is a 994 millibar uh, northbound uh, weather system right here, which is being blocked by this area of high pressure right here, which is being installed to block this. And uh, we have wind uh, forecasted for uh, tonight and tomorrow. More Santa Ana, they call them Santa Ana winds. These are nothing more than transmitter generated uh, winds where they place high pressure. They install high pressure adjacent to low pressure. You see a system here developing and moving to the east. And uh, that uh, produces wind. We can see right here over Nevada, there's an area right here trying to spin counterclockwise. If we look on the uh, surface analysis map uh, right, right here, we see the uh, low pressure right here indicated. And we have this gale force system, 994 millibar. This is going to be forced uh, to the north. This should be moving uh, eastbound, but uh, everything is being forced to the north by the high pressure being installed uh, here on this map. We can see that going in right here. This is a satellite-based transmitter-generated high pressure system. And uh, over here we see a straight edge on this uh, gale force system. Let's stop the loop and take a look at that. Uh, if we go back to the beginning of the loop, we can see that uh, this is a very straight edge. Put the envelope on that. Right here, and see the uh, see that straight edge. This is about two and a half inches long from right about here all the way up to the corner, and that equates to uh, right here on the California border near Oregon, all the way down to about right just a, maybe 100 miles or so, 150 miles south of the uh, California border. Right about right here is where that straight edge would be. All the way down here is a straight edge, this thing. And so we can see what's happening. This is a satellite transmitter generated uh, right angle to force some of this moisture away. And we can see a staircase pattern uh, develop like you would see on a, on a, on a uh, an oscilloscope right here. This is due to the, uh, it's a result of the transmitter being pulsed on and off. You see that staircase pattern right there. That is the transmitter being pulsed on and off. And then we see the uh, the disorganization right here along this straight edge from the lack of power being applied. Let's go ahead and watch it in real time. So these people doing this are uh, trying to be careful not make their... <coughs> their uh, <coughs> Their uh, manipulation too obvious, but it's but it is very obvious. If you look at this also on the, uh, the infrared loop, and 
pause the uh, start from the beginning here, we can see that straight edge, this right angle. This is very square. The envelope fits very well into that contour. Okay, so Mother Nature does not create right angles. Everybody should know that. You won't hear that information from Al Gore or anybody else. Jerry Brown won't be talking about right angles on weather systems. Uh, <clears throat> some recent news is that the uh, Trump administration has removed uh, climate change as a national security concern. And that's a good thing because that puts people, the people involved in this uh, racket, uh, it puts their feet to the fire. If there are uh, questions, they, they have to answer questions. And so the uh, protection, uh, the national security uh, shield that they have enjoyed is no longer there. And it shouldn't be. This is a racket. We have Wall Street uh, futures and options being traded. Uh, on weather, weather options, and weather derivatives. And this is why uh, this is not being shown on television, because people would figure out, the general public would figure out very quickly that, uh, you know, we've got people controlling the weather, and then, of course, you have uh, Wall Street in cahoots with that. And so the people on the inside are obviously going to clean up, because they know in advance uh, what the weather is going to be, and so forth and so on. Uh, weather control uh, can manipulate the price of uh, food products grown in, in places around the country. It, it uh, can uh, control the uh, supply of fresh water, as we saw the last five and six years in California. Uh, <clears throat> it can, uh, can control the price of uh, food at the grocery store. It can control the behavior of politicians who act out of uh, more out of uh, emotion rather than uh, actually uh, looking into and examining the evidence, the science behind what's going on here. There's uh, many, many. Uh, there's a there's an army of shills out on the internet that are that are uh, trolling sites that uh, report the weather, such as this site, trying to discredit. Uh, what we're looking at here. Nature does not create right angles. That's something people should learn in the third grade. Everything in nature is round, including the earth and the stars and the sun, and everything is round. It's not flat. Okay. We've got people that come onto this website claiming that the earth is flat. Okay, so we've got to kick these people off to, to uh, maintain uh, some semblance of credibility. Okay, so uh, nature does not create right angles, number one. And uh, let's take a look at some of these other maps. We have the south, or rather the east Pacific water vapor loop. You can see an area right here trying to spin a counterclockwise. This is all blocked up here with high pressure. That is a uh, right down here. That will uh, separate, maintain separation uh, from uh, what's going on up here. We've got some Santa Ana winds on the way. We've got a low pressure system here. We've got high pre uh, right here. We've got this high pressure right adjacent to this low, and that will create the wind uh, later on today. And once again, this uh, staircase pattern we see here that is the transmitters being pulsed on and off, the V transmitter. And so uh, our rain opportunity here will be foiled once again. Uh, Let's take a look at some of these other maps. We've got the swell report. That giant gale offshore is developing uh, 23 and 23 foot seas right here. We've got 19 foot seas off of Washington. Right here in the southwest water vapor loop. Let me refresh that. Let's take a look at the IntelliCast Doppler map. This is over Cedar City. We can see the next rad uh, transmitter here chopping up the rain and snow pattern. Zoom out on that, we can take a look at the bigger picture. There's really no rain at all in uh, Southern California being stopped. 
There was uh, some rain here over Bakersfield, some snow over the grapevine on the Interstate 5. That's uh, quickly diminishing. So really nothing to report other than the usual uh, weather manipulation. All right, so we'll just leave it right here and uh, do another update as uh, soon as possible. Okay, that's it.